we can always hear birds singing which is so nice especially in the mornings there are like two birds that i really like they are singing today is saturday i am just really in the mood to finish up all my assignments and stuff and to be honest i haven't watched any online lectures at all and i feel like i should but i don't think i want to <laughs> So yeah, maybe I'll try and watch some today. I really feel like finishing up my assignments as I told you but they're just getting more and more especially with the final exams cancelled so it means that we have additional assignments which will be announced on the 27th of April for my uni. I need to get everything done before that. Luckily, we only have 4 subjects. But yeah, this is really weird because it's like the first time not having final exam. So yeah, it is currently 9.30am and I just have been starting to do some of my assignments since 7 45 a.m yeah i mean my mat i am also just watching this online lecture on this specific topic because for my group assignment i am doing this part so this is the only reason when i watch an online lecture just to understand my part better that is what i'll be doing this morning I am now cooking lunch. I'm only cooking one dish because we're ordering yang tau fu for dinner, a lunch. So I'm only cooking a veggie dish. Wait, let me add in the veggie. Oh. Alright. Still using the homemade fish paste that my mom's friend gave. Gonna add more water. Grocery haul. First one is this olive oil. It's actually the bigger one. Normally we get like a smaller one, but this is like two liter. So this is like huge. We've also been adding goji berries into our veggies. Just to add a pop of color, make it look more appetizing. So this is our lunch, the veggie that I cook, rice, soy cow dumpling. We've got three tofu, two brinjal. We counted lah before ordering. One person, three piece of fufu. And then they gave the soup thing for the young tofu and then chilies. But I'm just gonna go with my sriracha chili because it's more spicier. Using the bean and bean lids, I actually had to cut open half. The remaining one is here. I know, let me try. So village grocer don't have the kampung ko hame. Mm. The kampung ko chili which is like the best chili. We are trying this one. Lengong pure chili paddy sauce. How's it? Wow. Sister, you wanna try? Mm, I have it. Tastes wow. a bit same la, but just like more spicy. This one no, tastes no, like cool. La la la. La, mm, la. Kampung ko eh. Yeah. So we have a slight problem. <laughs> For the past two days, right, when I took out the rice, there was always one tiny lizard that fell off. And then just now when I took out the rice, it went on my head, which was disgusting. So now we're trying to get it out, but I'm not sure how. But anyway, I just cooked dinner. So we've got broccoli, carrot. I actually really like cooking like this recently. It's simple, but it's good. And then where's my other veggie? Oh, ta-da! Cabbage. I also forgotten to show you this. But look! I have two new bottles of my sriracha sauce over there. And a lot of the glass jars are now cleared. I'm giving some of them to my mom's friend because he makes like homemade sambal belachan. So he made jars and I thought, you know, let me just give him because I don't need any of those. Well, I've never used this angle before. But hey guys, it's the next day and it's a pretty late start to the vlog. It's like 4 p.m. I am about to bake some muffins again because I'm just really in the baking mode. I'm not sure whether can you hear me because it just started raining really heavily. This is the current situation. I've got the laptop on my oven. Prepped a few ingredients here and as you can see, it has something to do with banana. So I'm just gonna use this as my mixing bowl. I already blended some oat flour here so I'm just gonna, you know, pour this in. Basically just blended instant oats. And also, it actually expired last September so hopefully they still good because it still smells good, yeah. Okay, so the main ingredient is cacao powder and I'm using this one from Organicu Superfoods. I actually can't see what I'm showing because the mic is blocking. There were only this much left and I kind of freaked out a little bit because I needed more than that. So glad that I actually have another tub over here so <laughs> all is good. Yeah, I'm basically making like a chocolate banana muffin. 
fit. I actually bought this kitchen scale from I think Lazada. I'll try to find it and link it down below. I'm trying to get better at linking stuff in the description box. So yeah, you can go and check it out. And I'm just gonna mix it in. So cacao powder is like the main ingredient for this. And I'm using the one from Organicu Superfoods. And you can use my code Alina10 to enjoy 10% off. I really love their cacao powder. It's just richer and it makes everything that you're trying to make more chocolatey. It's like rich kind of chocolatey, you know. Okay, so the rain is not as heavy now, but anyway, I've just done prepping some of the other ingredients. I think the saddest part is that it requires 65 grams of nut butters. And this is my last jar. It was like over here. <laughs> so it's now to the very last bit of it. But yeah, got my peanut butter here. So I'm just gonna lay it over there. What else do I need? I just need to mash these bananas now and start heating up the oven. So let me move this away. a really really thick batter like the recipe did mention that it is a relatively thick batter so I'm not sure whether it's this how thick it's supposed to be but anyway I'm just gonna pop them in the tins now and let it burn <laughs> are you sure it's supposed to be this thick yeah it should be like I don't know okay so I think it is now 5.30 yeah it's 5.30 time to cook dinner and I also popped in the muffins 10 minutes ago so it's now baking and it smells so good it's like I like the lemon cake too but this one also smells really good so I can't wait to try and see which one I like better so somehow there were too much better and like you can't just stuff everything into the tins because it will overflow and stuff so I took another wait let me show you so I took another steel bowl just to put all the excess better and yeah, they're looking great. So we actually made barley today. My dad made some barley and these are some leftovers because I want to have them tonight. I'm just gonna put them in the fridge so that it's more of like a dessert. Sorry for the noise, my dad is just washing stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna use the bean and bean reusable lids to wrap it and store it in the fridge. Okay, so it's nicely secured. It will fall because it's like leak proof and stuff if you find the right size. And just pop it in. Right, we have almost all the appliances. Hamai? Mm -hmm. We have air fryer, we have oven, we have steamer. We don't need a microwave, but I think we need a coffee machine. I really no. want <laughs> next time for my future house. And then I'll carry the steamer and the oven to my house. And the piano and the leg massager. <laughs> I'm gonna carry the grand piano to my so the muffins are done. It's very tricky when you bake chocolate stuff cause it's like, you know, is it like burn or what? Cause some parts are like darker. Anyway, I'm just gonna transfer them into a plate so that they won't continue cooking here. So I actually added some cacao nibs in some of them on top. I'm glad that I used chunky peanut butter so that you see there's like some colors from the peanut so it, it doesn't look too dull. But this is my special muffin. I think it needs to bake longer cause it's like very big one. Wait, I need to test. Oh, definitely need to bake longer. Okay, I need to bake longer. It is currently 8 p.m. I just did my skincare. The fish that we had earlier, right, was actually caught by my neighbor, Mr. Lau. So yeah, he gave us the fish. And then today, my neighbor Hira, she gave us these cinnabons that she made. Ta-da! And then this is the cream that came with it. I haven't tried it yet. And I also put my oats here because in the cupboard, right, all the insects will just get to it. I don't know how, I don't know why. So I thought it would be safer to just put it in here. I actually had like another half of a bag of instant oats and then when I opened it right all the insects came out and it was disgusting so the other day when I put my peanut butter there right when I opened it there was also one of the insect inside anyway let me show you mm -mm, my cupcakes I can't wait to eat it tomorrow it smells so good 
Whew. And then the bigger one actually looks so good as well. I put it in the 365 box. I could actually bake like a loaf in this lunch box as well. But I don't know, I just thought muffins would be cuter. Yeah, you can actually bake in this if you have one. So, mm -hmm. my hands are clean. Look, like the size of it is so... Nice, this will be my breakfast tomorrow. I used the Organic Q Superfoods cacao nibs and also cacao powder. I don't have chocolate chips on hand or like nuts and stuff, so I added this, which I think will be amazing as well because these are also like chocolatey. I added this, I added that, and I think if you're new to Organic Q Superfood as a brand, right, I would highly recommend you to try cacao nibs, cacao powder, ham hearts, and maca powder. These are like my favorite because you can never go wrong with this stuff, you know. Like if you do bake, get cacao powder to make things more chocolatey because they're just so great. So yeah, if you're looking for some small local businesses to support and stuff, Organic Q is one to try. And I personally know the owners of Organic Q Superfoods and they are really really kind people, you know, and they really respect me as a person which is great. So yeah, I just really love supporting people that are more, more like them, you know. So I'll leave the link in the description box. You can go and check them out. I have my promo code as well. You can enjoy 10 off so yes I'm wearing two shirts I only have like two more assignments to finish because I finished the rest if I can finish this two by this week then I have nothing like no assignments related things to do till the 27th of April because on that day they will give us our like final exam assignments so I'm trying to finish up all this ASAP. Sometimes right, it's like a really easy assignment and stuff but it takes up so much time. You need to research this, research that. So hopefully I can get this done and then I'll be done, you know. My tip from a uni student. Wait, let me just OTP, OTP. Okay, my biggest tip when it comes to doing group assignments, right, is to create Google documents or Google slides because it makes things so much easier. Like you can see what is everyone doing at the same time. You don't have to, you know, assign one person to compile everything. For example, if I send one file and I'll be like, no, this is not the one. Let me send another one. So with Google Docs and everything, you can just make changes there itself and it'll be updated and everyone will get it. And then you don't need to like compile and everything. Like before this, we used to just do it separately and I'm a big Google document girl so I love using Google documents even for slides especially you can always do it there so if you're not already doing that you can try doing that just get their emails and then that'll be great so you can just like combine everything here which is great we did one about Tesco so my slides are always very simple because I am not good at doing slides and I don't know I, I'm not creative enough so I normally just add tons of pictures <laughs> I just added this one logo just to make it more interesting so yeah I'm just doing all my parts all the empty ones are like my friends so yeah I just add pictures okay I'm gonna try the muffin my mom says it's a bit dry <laughs> This is officially my first very dry muffin. All this while, well, right, it's either too moist, which we actually like moist cupcake, like really moist or just nice. And I wasted all my peanut butter. <laughs> but I still like it. Okay, la, it's not that dry. La. I'm just really used to very moist cupcake, but this is my second piece. I actually quite like it. Okay, so it is now a few days after the last I vlog. But anyway, it's currently... What day is it? Yeah, bye, Zia. Today is Wednesday and I thought I would just carry on vlogging a little while more to make this vlog long enough for me to get it up for you. Actually, right, the day after I vlog, when I showed you the banana muffin, I actually had it for breakfast the day after and I didn't feel well at all because, I don't know, like it reminds me of when I came back from Penang the other trip when I had the brownie and then I vomited three times. So when I had the chocolate banana muffin, I only had half of the big one. I didn't feel well, my head hurt hurts it was dizzy and then i felt like vomiting so i wasn't well for the whole day basically anyway it is currently almost 12 p.m i am about to make my lunch so i thought i would just show you because i want to make some chickpeas like vegan patty basically so yeah my mom also brought out the slow cooker because she's making soup for tonight i think it's like the sayong choi tong um i actually have quite a few tins of 
tins can I have quite a few cans of chickpeas here so I need to find those my dad bought this like super fancy chickpeas because I wanted some and they don't have the regular ones so he just bought this um I think we have like some other ones wait let me go get them should I blend some green pea as well that might taste good actually so I've got all the ingredients here it looks a lot but yeah it's actually a lot so I've got the chickpeas here and then the blender which I'm gonna blend the chickpeas and then I've just shredded a carrot so I'm gonna add that as well for a pop of color and then we've got spring onions and then I've got some diced onions for spices I am gonna use I think I want to separate two different flavors because I want to like test out you know because this is my first time making it and I'm not sure how I like it so I've got some cumin powder I've got smoked paprika of course oregano powder parsley salt some black pepper and some nutritional yeast so I'm gonna start off with blending some chickpeas first and I I think I'm gonna add some canna lily beans because we bought this the other day and I'm not sure what to do with it and it's actually going bad so I need to blend those up as well just to get some different types of beans in there yeah catch up with you later once these are all ensembled in a bowl which I need to go get okay okay so it was actually quite difficult to blend the chickpeas because it was like really dry so I added a tablespoon of oh my hair oh my god Ooh, I can sit down so I added a tablespoon of oil just to help it a bit and then I also stopped occasionally and you know help out the chickpeas I'm not sure whether is it supposed to be like this but my blender is not really that good It's not like a high speed food blender so yeah I'm gonna add all of this Oh that's a lot I feel like I need a bowl not a plate I'm gonna add onions Okay I think I added too much carrot I'm just gonna mix this up Okay I need a bowl so that it's much easier to mix I'm actually making this just to test out for myself because for lunch we're just having bread and random stuff so I think this is an opportunity to make to explore okay it's looking good okay I think the topping is enough it's like pretty loaded so we're gonna oh I still need spring onions oh they're going bad I can actually use the oven to bake it but I think it's a bit troublesome to take out the oven and everything so I'm just gonna pan fry it and see how it goes and I'm also really excited because I have deliveries from Pingsin and a grain I'm not sure whether it's Pingsin still sending me but I'm waiting for it this looks so good now that we've added spring onions I feel like green just adds that pop of color and makes everything look good first we're gonna add salt I think I want to add some turmeric as well like lately I'm just finding every opportunity to add turmeric into everything because it's so good for you I've got that and then I'll add in some black pepper we bought this from um, Village Grocer where you can just crack the black pepper yourself I mean grind not crack and then this is also like removable so you can refill your black pepper seeds so you can keep reusing this we've got black pepper now we're gonna add some cumin mm. oh my god cumin smells so good I'm gonna add one teaspoon a heap of teaspoon half a teaspoon of smoked paprika I'm like a scientist mixing stuff and then some oregano this is actually expired but whatever and then I'm gonna add turmeric no parsley first mm. Smells amazing. Just a tiny bit. And then we're gonna add... I think I should stop. <laughs> I think I wanna make like mini patties. And I've been wanting to make chickpeas patty for the longest time but I was always too lazy. Honestly, I would rather explore with savory foods than baking stuff. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like adding another tablespoon of oil just to help it out. Just gonna add a bit more olive oil just to help coat it and add some extra fatty goodness inside oh it smells much easier it smells amazing i think i need more cumin powder i'm just using my hands to form the patty shape uh, i want them to be flatter oh my god this looks so good don't stop no Like that. <laughs> I'm gonna take another one. 
Okay, it's currently 1 p.m. I just finished cooking the patties. I'm gonna show you later, but I'm actually gonna go shower first before I eat. I like to eat in a comfortable state and stuff, but before I shower, I thought I would just film a short clip of my dance, my hands movement for my teacher to see, to correct me. When you're new to this whole dance form and you're not sure and no one is here to guide you, you're just full of questions like, am I doing it right and stuff. Because I'm gonna use my phone. After five takes, I think I'm done. Okay, let me show you the patties. So here is the chickpea patty. It looks good, but it's like really mushy and you know I don't like mushy patties. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna dump it in the air fryer. Like, I'll try for 10 minutes. They're so soft that they're all broken apart, but I just tasted it and it tastes so good. Like the flavor of it, wait, it's so bright. Now we just wanna make it crispier because we don't like mushy. 15 minutes. I'm just testing 120 or 180. I'll just keep standing here. I hope it goes crispy, I'm not sure normally people just dump it in the oven. I've not seen people. Whatever. Okay, so I just showered and I thought I would just show you the finished look, I guess. I've got some baby romaines and then I've got the chickpea patty. It's still really mushy but it's okay. I've already expected it so yeah and then I topped it off with some nutritional yeast, chia seeds and also sriracha sauce. I think this would taste so good with some tahini sauce but I don't have that. It's okay, I'm just gonna have this right now. Yep. If you are following me on Instagram and you saw this story, I hope you had a great laugh. I just find it so funny. This is for those that didn't follow me so go and follow me so that you don't miss such great content in the future thank you look at the butt i love this picture so much okay that's all okay so it is now 5 30 p.m and i normally just start cooking at 5 30 p.m so that you know by the time i shower and everything we can eat yeah i've just been sitting over there trying to get some assignments done but to no avail because i'm not in the mood to think <laughs> um but anyway, I am about to cook dinner and in case you're wondering, yes, I do wear the same few shirts on rotation whenever I'm at home because they're just more comfy, they're more, you know, baggy and stuff. I will be making the mushroom dish that I did yesterday again. This is the mushroom that we bought, brown beach mushroom. I've not heard of this mushroom before. And then I'm gonna cook it with some spinach because that sounds so good right now. So I am gonna cook that. They're all over here already chopped and then I'm gonna cook baked beans with eggs for them and then I'm also gonna have some of the chickpea patty because it's so good and then I've got rice and the soup so I'm only gonna use half of the mushroom because I didn't realize that it's actually a lot because this is not like the main thing obviously the spinach is the main thing so I'm gonna keep this I've actually washed it already so I hope it's okay because um, I'm gonna cook it for lunch tomorrow so this is what many la. so this is for dinner this is the soup that I was talking about sayang choy tong with carrots and stuff and then I cook this veggie spinach with mushroom and then baked beans with egg and then I'm having my chickpeas patty and I'm also gonna add my ham hearts are you sure you don't want a bit? I should do air MR no one is saying that yeah I should take all this water to the plant don't tell me cannot finish all has that ever finished watering? Hey guys, so it is now 9 p.m. I guess I've been coming upstairs around 9 15 p.m. lately because as I told you I've been having trouble and difficulty sleeping so I just want to come up early and just to wind down my mind and not watch like an episode of Money Heist because that would just keep my mind keep actively thinking stuff lately I think if you're trying to read a book right what you need to do is you need to find the right book like a good book that will keep you I mean that will make you look forward to reading it every night so I kind of like stopped reading in general for like two weeks because I couldn't find any book that I like to read. I think three days ago, I went to the cupboard and I found this book that I haven't read yet. It's called A Place For Us. I'm also gonna go on a video call now with CD because I have things to say. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call him.